everyone. Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Today's lesson is solving for x in a linear equation and rational algebraic equation. I chose this topic because you can use it in civil service exam, in college exams, even in senior high school entrance exams. So, we hit the target, number one. Given the equation, three times the quantity x minus five equals three x plus two, what is the value of x? Letter A, empty set, or no value of x. Letter B, x equals zero. Letter C, one. And letter D, 17. Now, so, we copy the given first. Three times the quantity x minus five equals 3x plus 2. By the way, I forgot to tell you a while ago, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. So, we distribute 3 here. So, we have here 3x minus 3 times 5 is 15 equals 3x plus 2. Then, at this moment, uh, some of you may have observed that the left side is not equal to the right side. So if, if that happens, you can automatically say that the answer is empty set because the left and the right are not equal. Now, let us assume that you didn't notice it and you continue on solving. That's okay. So let's do that. So 3x, transpose 3x minus 3x. Transpose this to the other side, that's what I mean. Equals 2, transpose negative 15 to the other side, you get positive 15. 3x minus 3x is 0, or 0x zero is just 0. Equals 2 plus 15 is 17. There, you see that 0 is not equal to 17. This is a false statement, which would mean that Whatever x value you substitute to the original equation, you will not satisfy the given equation. So the answer is letter A, empty set. No value of x can make the given equation true or correct. Now, when I was teaching in Philippine Science High School, most of my students answer letter B, so don't get into that trap. Next, number two. What is the value of x in 3 times the quantity 2x minus 1 equals 6x minus 3? The same thing, we distribute 3, so we get here 6x minus 3 times 1 is 3 equals 6x minus 3. What did you observe? The left side and the right side of the equation are equal. At this point, you can already conclude that the value of x can be any real number, which is letter C. But wait, let us say you didn't notice that. You continue on solving because you know you're pressed for time. So that's okay. Continue, 6x. Transpose this to the other side. We'll give you negative 6x equals negative 3. Transpose this to the other side. It will give you positive 3. 6x minus 6x is... 0x or 0 equals negative 3 plus 3 is 0. This is a true statement. So, whenever you end up with a true statement, it would mean that any real number can be a value for x. That, if you substitute any value for x here, the left side and the right side will always be equal. Next, problem number 3. If x cubed minus 1 all over x minus 1 is equal to 8, what is the value of x? In this given problem, it would be better if you simplify the left side of the equation first. As you can see here, x cubed minus 1 is factorable as a difference of two cubes. Let me show it to you. x cubed minus 1 can be written as x cubed minus 1 cubed. And you learn that it can be factored as a difference of 
two cubes. So this is x minus 1 times the quantity x squared plus x plus 1. Yeah, you, you already learned that in your lesson. So, so if we substitute these factors here, we will be having x minus 1 times the quantity x squared plus x plus 1 all over x minus 1 is equal to 8. Observe here that we can, there, cancel x minus 1 and x minus 1. We're left with x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 8. Remember when you're canceling, it's understood that you're getting a 1 there. So, transpose 8 to the other side. This will give you x squared plus x minus 7 equals 0. It is a quadratic equation. Now, is it factorable? Do you have factors of negative 7 which when added will give you the middle term? None. Negative 7 and 1 will not give you a 1. So, apply the quadratic formula. What's the quadratic formula again? It is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a there. If a quadratic equation is not factorable, it is easier for you to use the quadratic formula. So, here we identify a to be 1, b is also 1, this is understood to be 1, and c is negative 7. Substitute the values here, we have negative b, which is negative 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared is 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4a, a is 1, c is negative 7, 4ac all over 2a, 2 times 1. So this will give us negative 1 plus or minus the square root of square root of 1 negative times negative is positive. 4 times 1 times 7 is 28. There, repeat. 1 negative times negative is positive. 4 times 1 is 4 times 7 is 28. 1 plus 28 is 29 all over 2. There, that's the value of x. So, where is our answer here? None. So, this should be all over 2. There. So, the answer is letter C. Okay, problem number 4 is... If 9x squared minus 12x plus 4 all over 3x minus 2 is equal to 6, what is x? Take a look at the numerator. What do you see? 9 is a perfect square. 4 is a perfect square. If that is the case, try factoring this. So you see that 9x squared minus 12x plus 4 is a perfect square trinomial with factors 3x minus 2 quantity squared or 3x minus 2 times 3x minus 2. Let's check. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. This is negative 6x and this is negative 6x. Add them you get negative 12x, which is the middle term. All over 3x minus 2 is equal to 6. Now, as you can see, we can cancel this 2. That automatically gives us a 1. So we are left with 3x minus 2 is equal to 6. Transpose 2, negative 2 to the other side. We have 6 plus 2, 3x is equal to 8. Then, to isolate x, divide both sides by 3. So x is equal to 8 over 3. Or, 
what is this as a mixed number? 8 divided by 3 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 2 gives you 8. Again, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 over 3. So the correct answer is letter B. Now, we have a game or a contest. Uh, you have to solve this and then please write on the comment your answer. The first one who gets the correct answer will be recognized in my next video. Before we end, don't forget to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. Subscribe please. Thank you.